White fungus and black fungus. Difference in symptoms, early detection and prevention. Amid the increasing COVID cases, India is struggling with another epidemic called black fungus infection aka mucormycosis. Many cases are being detected of this rare fungal infection in COVID patients and people who are diabetic, have kidney or heart problems, or are on high steroids. Just when the government was dealing with the black fungus epidemic, another fungal infection white fungus aka aspergillosis has started to spread its wings. White fungus is four times more dangerous than black fungus. It damages many parts of the body and spreads in the lungs. It also shows severe effects on the kidney, mouth, skin, and brain. Young children are also being affected by white fungus. Difference in symptoms of white and black fungus. White fungus symptoms, cough, fever, diarrhea, dark spots on lungs, reduced oxygen level. Black fungus symptoms, facial deformity, headache, facial pain, nasal congestion, loss of vision or pain in eyes, altered mental state. Confusion, swelling in cheeks and eyes, toothache. Loosening of teeth, black crusts in the nose. Who is more at risk of white fungus infection? Both white and black fungus prey on people with low immunity. Along with this, people suffering from diabetes, cancer, critical illness or a patient admitted in ICU are more prone to black fungus. At the same time, the white fungus attacks people with comorbidities. People with cancer, excess blood sugar are more prone to white fungus. How white fungus spreads in the body? The white fungus begins from the tongue or private parts due to which, it makes the tongue white. It then spreads to other organs along with lungs, brains, food pipes. How to avoid black and white fungus infection? The first one has to avoid getting COVID infection. Therefore, it is important to strengthen the immunity. Do not overuse steroids during COVID treatment. Steroids should be given only when the oxygen levels go down and pneumonia occurs. When the condition is stable, reduce the number of steroids, so that there is no problem of blood sugar fluctuation. Is taking steroids in fever a problem even after COVID recovery? If even after one week of recovering from COVID, a person is witnessing fever and breathlessness, then these are red flag signs. Steroids may therefore be required. In such a situation, you should immediately contact the doctor. The first week after the COVID recovery is very important. It is advised to stay clear of steroids at this time. Disclaimer. This content is created and published for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. For more information, please consult a doctor.